you get it done. I didn't realize it. So I just went and got a six pack of beer and we're going to start making a list of all the things we want to do. Ah, man. <laughs> but you know what? We bought the travel trailer. It's ours. So now it's in the driveway. As you can see on the inside, it's not a huge trailer. It's 25 foot. Got a little sofa over there. A little dinette. Here's the kitchen area here with the refrigerator. You just saw me loading it up. So, we're going to have some fun. Anyway, I'm going to tell you all about what we're going through to try to get this thing up and running to where we can actually use it and what that's going to, all that's involved. Stick around. Well, you got to do the setup, you know, and you get your brand new camper home. Or wherever you're going to store it, you know, there's a few things you're going to need to do, and uh, we were learning pretty quickly is that you got to buy all those accessories. Excuse the background noise, I got the air conditioner going. I'm lucky enough to have a 30 amp circuit that I can plug this bad boy in and run the air conditioner. It's almost like 85 degrees outside, so it's hot. But, you know, paper towel bars, you got to have those, and we went and bought three or four of them brought them in and figured out lighter is better it's kind of compact doesn't take up much room and that's what you want to look for on a camper you know you, on the parts and the stuff that you're going to put in it you want to try to keep it as light as possible uh, if you're like me you're just starting out your vehicle's not really rated to carry a whole lot of weight i've got a half ton ford pickup truck that uh i think 75 8 thousand total weight and uh, a travel trailer is coming in at 4,300 and something pounds and so you know we're we're staying under the, that weight limit but when you start adding all this the weight starts to add up so even little things like cups bowls plates here's a prime example forks and that looks pretty good but uh, it's plastic so you know little things add up you, you get metal forks spoons knives all the other cooking utensils that you're going to use the big spoons for cooking in pots and stuff like that that stuff's going to add weight to your trailer so we are trying desperately to keep the weight down but buying functional items that we can use. So I'm going to put this up right now. So I decided I'm going to put this bad boy right here next to the sink. That way it's not, I could put it up here by this light, but by the time you put your paper towel on it, you're blocking this window that we've got right here. I don't want to block that view. We're going out to, to see the sights, not to block them. So this is some of the stuff you need to be looking at when you first get a travel trailer. Yeah. So anyway, that bad boy's going to park right there. And don't be scared, I guess is the, the key words here. I'm going to have to drill screws into this cabinet 
that I really don't want to do, but how else are you going to mount things? You can use command hooks and, and command tape and all that, but I'm going to have down pressure on this with this paper towel roll. I mean, it's not heavy, but I don't want it falling off because then I'm going to have to be right back in the boat and going ahead and putting screws in it. So I made the decision to go ahead and screw it in. And one thing you got to take into account with this is that that little bracket, wherever it went, this has got to slide out. So that's going to be a challenge. I think I need to figure out how to do that. This is the problems you run into. That this is going to slide. It's hidden back there. I could put a screw in just to tighten it a little bit, but. I'm still not going to be able to do it. Can't do it that way because the towel's got to come on this way. So look at those things. It's always something. That's not going to work. Well, the wife and I bought this trailer, so I'm not going to put that towel bar just where I think it's going to go. That's going to have to be her decision as well. You know, happy wife, happy life. Look at that, happy wife. So what do you think, Miss Teresa? Think. <laughs> Not a picture. A picture. It's coming along. Coming along? It's coming along. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So anyway, I went ahead and had to put the paper towel rack in front of the window so that you could get the, the roll of paper towel on and off that. Otherwise, it almost doesn't work there. And then while we're at it, went ahead and hung a mirror here on the bathroom door. We had some command tape. I don't know if you can see it back there. There's some white in there, but that came off. So we ended up having to put some great sheetrock screws in there. What are you going to do? Get some black fingernail polish and cover those screws up? I don't know about fingernail polish, but something. Yeah. Hey. In the bathroom, decorated. Got a little trash can. It's not much room in there. So that's just one of the pitfalls you're gonna have when you buy a new trailer. I'm trying to find places to put this stuff. But I think the mirror is really neat on the door. Well, as you can see, we're getting there. I got all my tools sitting around in here trying to get stuff done. You know, put that towel rack up. We don't really like that, so we're going to change it. We're going to get one of the old-fashioned kind. That, that way we can put it in sideways and be done with it. I'm not happy with it being in front of that window. But the mirror, we like that. Went out and got us a nice little rug. Add some color in here. As you can see, this this camper's it's got a really nice color, but you gotta add some more. Well, stay tuned, guys. We're gonna have lots more for you. Till the next time, take care of yourself and others too. <laughs>